Good evening. Welcome to St. Peter Cathedral on this, the sixth Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our presider is Father Michael Farrick, assisted by Deacon Jeff Swanson. The music, including the hymns and sponsorial song, can be found on the inside of your Sunday bulletins at the church entrances. The mass parts, should you need them, are in the same location in the plastic stands. We ask that you please take them with you when leaving Mass. As we gather for worship, let us lift up our voices in praise as we sing together the first verse of our opening hymn, All Creatures of Our God and King, verse 1. Please stand. Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, as we gather together to celebrate the sixth Sunday in ordinary time, let us acknowledge our sin and so prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You bring the dead to life in your spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You bring those in darkness into the light. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. said to Moses and Aaron, If someone has on his skin a scab or pustule or blotch, which appears to be the sore of leprosy, he shall be brought to Aaron the priest, or to one of the priests among his descendants. If the man is leprous, leprous and unclean, the priest shall declare him unclean by reason of the sore on his head. The one who bears the sore of leprosy shall keep his garments rent and his head bare and shall muffle his beard. He shall cry out, unclean, unclean. As long as the sore is on him, he shall declare himself unclean, since he is, in fact, unclean. He shall dwell apart, making his abode outside the camp. The word of the Lord.
reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do everything for the glory of God. Avoid giving offense, whether to Jews or Greeks or the Church of God. Just as I try to please everyone in every way, not seeking my own benefit, but that of the many, that they may be saved. Be imitators of me, as I am of Christ. The word of the Lord. Jesus and kneeling down begged him and said, If you wish, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand, touched him, and said to him, I will do it. Be made clean. The leprosy left him immediately, and he was made clean. Then, warning him sternly, he dismissed him at once. He said to him, See that you tell no one anything. But go, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. The man went away and began to publicize the whole matter. He spread the report abroad so that it was, it was impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. He remained outside in deserted places, and people kept coming to him from everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you. We've all heard of leprosy since we were very young, learning scripture stories, but we need to listen to what the leper asked for. He didn't ask to be cured. He asked to be made clean. And when we think about the difference, a leper was cast out of the temple. A leper wasn't allowed to be around people. He wasn't asking to be cured of his leprosy. He was asking to be clean so that he could go back into the temple and worship, so he could be around people. And when I first read that, I thought, how many people who are struggling with cancer, heart disease, kidney failure, do we hear say, I just want to be cured so I can go to church? Probably not many of us. But then I thought, during this pandemic, how many people have I heard, which I have heard Lots of people say, I can't wait till this pandemic is over so I can get back to church. So maybe in a way, we feel the people who are at home feeling isolated can relate to what the leper was feeling. He wanted to be made clean so that he could come back to the temple and worship. And maybe how many of you, when masses were private, when the churches were shut down in the spring, when you came back, almost had tears in your eyes 
to receive the Eucharist after six, eight weeks of not being able to. We are so blessed to have the sacraments. We're so blessed to be able to come and worship. And we shouldn't take that for granted. So if we're at home and watching Mass via live stream, you can relate to the leper. And our prayer is that may we always have the desire to come and receive the Eucharist, to come worship here in church, whether it's convenient or inconvenient. A profession of our faith, using the Apostles' Creed, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He ascended into heaven. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. With faith and confidence in a loving God, let us present our petitions. For the Church, that in imitation of Jesus, we may break down barriers by including the outcast, the forgotten, the refugee, the ostracized, and the sinner, in stretching our love of neighbor to every corner of society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That more men and women will joyfully answer the call of the Lord to proclaim his life, death, and resurrection as priests, permanent deacons, and in the consecrated life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our parish community may comfort and support those who suffer in relationships that have become strained or fractured. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may be rewarded with eternal life in the heavenly kingdom, especially for Paul Fisher, who died this week, and Agnes Kwiatkowski, whom we remember at this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the victims of the coronavirus, people affected by the quarantine, and all health care workers caring for the sick and administering the vaccine, that God may watch over them, guide them, and bring them comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we thank you for this day. We ask you to hear our petitions and grant them according to your will, for we ask them through Christ our Lord. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward, through Christ our Lord. Lord be with you. 
lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead he has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death of the Lord until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Lawrence our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
this command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please join me in singing the communion hymn, Whatsoever You Do.
Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for the food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. A word of welcome to our guests, whether you're joining us in person or via live stream, how good it is to have you here at the cathedral. Just a reminder that we are in the process of the Catholic Services Appeal, but because of bulk mail, probably most of us didn't receive the letter from me this week in the mail, and Monday is President's Day, so there's no mail, so hopefully by midweek next week you'll receive the letter from me, or at least by next Christmas. Um, but please continue to pray for your response to the Catholic Services Appeal. Again, hopefully you'll get the letter next week. Also, as you leave church, there are Word Among Us books on the uh, bulletin stands with all the daily readings during the season of Lent, and they have reflections. Please take as many as you need. If you have a family member or a neighbor you think could benefit from one, take one with you. They don't do us any good sitting here in church. Just a reminder, Lent begins this Wednesday, Ash Wednesday. Check the bulletin for Mass times. Also, Stations of the Cross will be prayed during Lent, immediately following the 515 Mass on Fridays. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Please join me in singing our closing hymn, Praise My Soul, the King of Heaven, the first two verses. Mm -hmm. 